How do you do? Today we'll be looking at an abandoned bridge that goes over the Wabash River. Now this is an abandoned bridge that is right near New Harmony, Indiana. So I come to find out that this bridge was actually opened in December 21st of 1930 and closed May 21st of 2012. From September 2007 to April 2008, the bridge closed to all traffic when cracks appeared in some of the concrete support piers. During the closure, contractors added new pillings to the existing piers and made other required repairs. But in 2010, engineers determined that the bridge required an additional six million in repairs. So it was deemed structurally deficient. Now I think this used to be a toll bridge too, because from street view maps I've seen, there's like a toll booth. So I don't think this is the bridge itself, but like a portion of it. I mean, uh, heading towards it. Because this is a uh, one with a trussle and everything. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I wonder how far you can get it across it. It's a little spooky around this area. a lot of this area of the road and the bridge just completely closed off. Here we go. <laughs> Is that like a red truck or something? Huh. Guess we'll find out about what that is up there. Oh. Well, that was the sound of uh, rolling my ankle. And this will start to take into effect later in my adventure to New Harmony and Evansville. To the point where I'm almost limping around uh, Washington Square Mall in Evansville. Ironically, there would be a foot and ankle doctor there. So this is where the toll booth would have been.
right across the other side of that bridge would be the town of New Harmony, Indiana. Let's tell. This is where they would collect the toll for the, the bridge and for uh, drivers to pass by. Hmm. Just let's see, it's still here. was like a, something else for that. Hmm. This might have been also part of the, the bridge. Got a couple of chairs that are chilling out. Do you know like why they closed the bridge down? There's a whole bunch of different reasons. It's too narrow. Uh, asphalt's falling through on it. It's they deemed it unsafe, just like these bridges here. That's why they're close to. Oh, okay. That's why those concrete barriers are there. If they used to not be there, then that's, that's why they closed it. And then this, I guess, I don't know if somebody burnt that up, started on fire, hmm. but they won't open it back up. Right. Some type of structure used to be here. So the reason for its closure was it was actually too narrow uh, yeah, you can actually tell right away. It was too narrow for for a two-lane type of road for cars to go, you know, back and forth. And I think that's the reason for like a lot of these situations. You know, a lot of these bridges and roads you see that are just deemed unsafe and abandoned, just like the Pennsylvania Turnpike area with the two tunnels. So, I think that was more the reason for its closure, was that. Same, same as the uh, bridges and road where I came from. We'll see how far we get across this big old bridge. But yeah, they're never going to reopen this bridge, probably. <laughs> I'd imagine they'd have to rebuild this to where more cars could drive past each other without, you know, there being that issue of too, much, too little space. But as you can tell, yeah. Having two cars in this bridge would be problematic most times. So it makes me think if this bridge was just built around the times of like Model T Fords or something like that, which that would make more sense for why this was not an issue until you start getting big boat cars, like. Surrogate so cars, like, you know, up to like the 70s, and then, you know, cars just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I 
Well, yeah, that's interesting. Makes me wonder just how far this goes to New Harmony, or if it actually reaches that point. From what I've seen, I think it actually... They cut off the ramp portion on the New Harmony side. Holy crap. And I think that is actually the bell. Probably from New Harmony, if you just heard that, that just now. So New Harmony is actually pretty dang close. This is the old bridge. You can definitely tell. This was definitely built for like 1920s traffic. So I think beyond the 1920s, cars just start to get a lot bigger until you have the cars of today, which Good luck <laughs> getting a lot of those cars across this road, going both ways. This bridge. Still safe to walk on, but yeah. I don't know if you'd want to drive your car over it. it has not been t probably well kept since its closure. Harmony, Indiana. And right there <clears throat> is the Wabash River. Splitting this part of Indiana and Illinois. I think it took me about an extra 20 minutes or more just to get from the New Harmony side over to this side and to park over where I did. Looking back now, I probably parked closer where the dude with the red truck was at. <laughs> but yeah. Here is the mighty Wabash River. Very still right now. You can actually see parts of uh, New Harmony already. Now, this is an interesting town in Indiana. This is a, uh, it's kind of like a utopian project. There's a lot of interesting things in American history that happened in the 19th century. <laughs> New religions and just utopia projects and such. They really saw the they really saw America as a land of endless possibilities, I guess. And so I'll have a video up maybe a couple of places in uh, New Harmony here, here next. a little bit of the history yes yeah, it's, it's one of those things <laughs> yep. old trussell bridge here now yeah we'll see if there's gonna be a complete drop off here pretty soon <laughs> 
right now I should be crossing into Indiana at the moment. Yeah, just imagine some time in the 1920s, 30s, whenever. Maybe a bunch of loud ass Model T cars <laughs> driving by. <laughs> they would definitely be going ooga at me right now. <laughs> Well, uh, there is a way to get down from this side. Yeah, I'll probably stop the video there, and we'll have a we'll have some videos about New Harmony, perhaps. But we'll see. I might have to drive all the way back on the other side. <laughs> well, they must have had this bridge open for a while. It's still got the huh. Crossing the border into uh, Indiana here. <laughs> so the gate might still be completely intact. Yeah, we're gonna find out. <laughs> So this is New Harmony, Indiana. It's an interesting building there. Yeah, it looks like all that gate's pretty intact. So I'd like, be amazed if I could get through. It's like, who is this guy? <laughs> All right. So this way, I probably, probably am able to do that. All right then. It was incorrect. Oh, I didn't even see that. So yeah, we got interior Illinois. Oh my god, it's got the weight limit thing. So I guess this bridge has been open pretty long. I think so. We are in Indiana and we're in New Harmony. So since I don't have my car, I'm probably gonna be walking around here. 
yeah I will leave it there and <clears throat> See you in the next video. Next video probably being about a uh, new harmony. See you there. Peace.